Hello, hello. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Hello, hello. I am streaming in a couple different places, so I'm just kind of checking my streams to make sure everything is looking good. How y'all like my hat? I'm trying to see. It's, I'm trying to see if it's gonna make the cut. I got this, I think, last year, and my kids clowned me, y'all. My kids clowned me for this hat. So tell me what you think about my hat. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm still working on it. It was on sale, so it's not no big loss if we don't love it. But I'm. I had to get it. My kids was like, "Oh, mom!" But it's it feels very '90s to me. It feels very '90s to me. And I'm in, I'm having a '90s day. I'm wearing my Mary J shirt, and I was not gonna do this head, so I'm wearing the hat. So tell me what you think about the hat today. What though? We're not talking about the hat today. <laughs> we are talking about um, something that came to me this this morning while I was kind of planning for my day. I had this thought about. Um, the Discount Duchess. And you may not know who the Discount Duchess is, but let me tell you who the Discount Duchess is. It's me. <laughs> so my very first business that I had years and years ago was called the Discount Duchess. And let me just tell you guys, it did not succeed. It was a business that failed. And I thought about this morning, thought about it this morning because I was kind of preparing for the day. And I'm planning for my, my live event next week, which is um, Stop Sleeping on Yourself. And that is a workshop about letting go of limiting beliefs, healing from your trauma, and moving forward into the life you actually want to live. And it was crazy to me that I think, you know, God brings us things back to our mind. And what came to mind for me was, wow, I remember at the time that failing business felt huge. It felt like, oh my God, this isn't working. And I, you know, at the time I started that business, I was married. I had um, all four of my kids, but I had two, my two youngest were home with me and I was only working part-time. So I wanted to generate some extra income. And I started that business in order to bring in a little bit of money in a way that was easy for me to do while I had these two kids at home. So I had you know, a scholarship for my daughter to go to, one of my kids to go to preschool a couple times per week. Um, and then I had a newborn at home and money was just, you know, I was in school, so there was a lot going on, but there wasn't a lot of money. And so I started this business to make a little bit of extra money. Um, and it didn't make any money. Like it just, it didn't. It just, just did not work for me. And I remember feeling at that time, like, man, it's not working. Um, and I don't know about you, but I, as a mom, one of the things that I never want to do is I never wanted to make my kids' lives harder than it needed to be. And I, I and in in that moment, it felt like I've spent time, I've spent money, and it has not been successful. Those types of events are what creates limiting beliefs, right? So that's what kind of creates a trauma wound. That's what creates that um, that toxic stress. That creates a space in your brain that thinks negatively about a particular situation. A story develops um, when you have that type of experience. And so for me, the story that develops is having a business is hard. It's hard to make money. Um, when you start a business, you might not make money, you'll lose money. So all of those different stories were planted in me because this business did not survive. Now, fast forward. That's not my business today. That was my business then. And so when I got ready to start my business now, which is coaching consulting, I work with individuals, I work with organizations, I work with lots and lots of schools around the country. And so I provide mental health support, coaching and consulting so that individuals and organizations can thrive, right? When I started that business, I started it with a blog and I started it in a way that was free for me to do it, right? So. I think I got like, back in the day, now this, I'm probably aging myself a little bit, but back in the day, and I don't know if this is still the case because I don't have a blog like this anymore. You could have a WordPress site. So it'd be like your name, your, your name or your site dot WordPress dot org or whatever. So if you had it hosted on WordPress, it was free. The kicker is you couldn't charge money for things and you couldn't kind of embed certain scripts and there were certain things that you couldn't do if you were on the free site. But I did it on, I built my blog on the free site because I was afraid to invest in doing my site myself. I was afraid that because I hadn't succeeded before, I wasn't going to be successful. So I was willing to take the first step to start the business, 
but I was also not willing to invest money. And so I was doing this kind of start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. If you are that kind of person, I want you to drop a comment. Uh, make sure that you're following because th these are the kind of things that I like to talk about because when people want to level up, they want to be more successful. It's not that they don't have the skills. It's not that they don't have the talent. It's not that they don't have the passion. It's not that they don't have the drive. It's not even that they don't have great ideas because sometimes there's wonderful ideas. More times than not, what holds us down, what holds us back, what keeps us from being as successful as we can is the mindset that we have around what we're doing. So when I started my business the second time around, I was very, very cautious about investing money. And here's the tricky thing about limiting beliefs. Limiting beliefs sometimes show up and they are like the bully on the playground, right? Oh my God, you're so stupid. I can't believe you did this. You're not gonna be successful. Like they're, they're harsh and it's critical and it's like a negative thought. And you can, you can really identify those from time to time. But those are not the ones that keep my clients stuck the most. Right? It's not those big, bully, loud thoughts that keep my clients stuck the most. It's the little whispers. It's the little like, oh, I thought this was gonna work and it didn't. I better play it safe this time, right? So sometimes limiting beliefs looks like being responsible. It looks like um, being practical, being realistic. So when we're doing those kind of things, we think we're doing the right thing, but what we're actually doing is limiting the life that we're able to have. So this morning while I was thinking about that, I thought, since I started my business over seven years ago, I have made hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? I work in a way that makes sense for me. So this morning I had to get up and go take my car to the shop. I was able to still do that and work while I was sitting at the shop, right? Um, I don't have to be up at, at 4.30 to be able to be cross town at six o'clock. Like I don't, I, I get to work in the way that makes sense for me. I'm able to earn the money in the way that I wanna earn it. And most, most importantly, like absolutely most importantly, I am able to have the impact that I want to have. I am able, I have a, a, a Facebook community of over 4,000 women, men and women really, that are working professionals in schools. They represent, you know, 4,000 schools slash school districts. They represent thousands of kids and families. And I'm able to have an impact with all of those because I was able to get my limiting beliefs in check so that I could ultimately grow my business. So I did have to invest. I did have to invest a little bit of money in my website and, and in learning some different skills. Um, and eventually, you know, I went back and got my certification for coaching and all these different things. But I wouldn't have been able to do those things if I would have let those limiting beliefs hold me back. For a lot of us who are saying we want something different in 2023, we want to be more successful, we want to grow our business, we want to um, get a promotion, we want to lose weight, we want to have a relationship, any of those things that we want to do, it's those safety thoughts that might be holding you back. In the workshop that we're doing next week, Stop Sleeping on Yourself, it's a workshop I've taught before, but I've kind of renovated it a little bit. Um, I'm going to help you identify what those limiting beliefs are in your life and how they're keeping you stuck. So if you've had the same goal on your vision board for years and years and years, if you have been kind of hoping and dreaming and maybe you haven't even told anybody about your dream because you don't want them to, you don't want to be embarrassed if you're not able to accomplish it. If that's your story, what I want you to do is sign up for this workshop at the link in my bio because it's a safe space. I'm going to guide you in a very coaching format. So it's it's not just me talking at you. It's not a recorder. It's literally we're having a conversation and I'm going to guide you through identifying those places in your life where those limiting beliefs are popping up. And remember what I said, I think I talked about this yesterday, day before yesterday. A limiting belief is just a weed in your mind. It's a thought, it's something that you have thought repeatedly that becomes a belief. 
And that belief allows you to look at things a certain way, right? So if you believe that something is possible for you, you're gonna be looking for the ways to make it work. If I say, hey, I wanna make uh, an impact in 10,000 lives this year. Like if that was my thing that I was really, really passionate about and I wanted to make sure I was doing that. And then if I have healthy belief system, I'm gonna be looking for every way that I can impact another person, right? If I have limiting beliefs, I might say, well, I probably better not pick that number. Or I better pick a, I better pick a number that's more realistic. I better, you know, I better not tell anybody about this dream, right? Some of you that are watching me right now, you have some hopes and some dreams that you have been sitting on because you're afraid to take action on them. If I would have let the discount duchess that was not a successful business stop me, then thousands of women would not have been coached by me. Hundreds of thousands of children would not have gotten the impact of the workshops and the retreats and the books and the courses that I've created for their teachers and their counselors and their social workers, right? So when you sleep on yourself, it costs you so much more. It costs you so much more. So I want you to pay attention to the ways in your life that you might be sleeping on yourself. Just do that for me today, right? Pay attention to the way you might be sleeping on yourself. How often do you sabotage your own success? How often do you stop the things that you start? How often do you not go for those things that you really, really want? Those are the things that you need to stop doing in 2023 if you want to have the life that you wanna live. So. The link is somewhere around this video, either in my bio or beneath this in the comments. And I want you to take this chance on yourself to get out of your own way and stop sleeping on yourself. And I promise you, it will be so worth it. What I, what I know now, had I known that then, you know, eight, nine years ago before I made that second leap into entrepreneurship, or I really shouldn't call it a leap, y'all. Like seriously, I probably should, I, I probably just dipped my toe in the water a little bit, right? I did it very, very safely. But the very first time I remember the very first times that I started, okay, I'm gonna pay for this, I'm gonna pay for I'm gonna pay for this domain name, okay? It's two ninety nine. I can I can do two ninety nine. If I if I if it doesn't work, then I haven't lost a lot, right? So I remember the very first time I bought my my domain name, right? And the being willing to put a little bit of money out and invest. And like I said, I I, I did a video yesterday about um, somebody was asking me for tips for entrepreneurship, and I like you're gonna pay one way or another. Either you're gonna pay with your time. Um, so you're going to do things the hard way and it's going to take you longer or you're going to pay with your money because you're going to pay to either get the skills that you need to do it faster or pay somebody else who is skilled to do it or you're going to pay with your impact. Um, so if you're saying like, hey, I want to have a big impact. I want to help everybody. I want to help everybody understand how to be a vegan. I want to help everybody, um, you know, learn yoga, whatever it is that you want to do. You're gonna limit your impact if you are still living under these limited beliefs. So grab the workshop. We have two options for the workshop. So if you have availability during the day, like if this time works for you, um, we have a time on Tuesday, it'll be 12 o'clock. And if this time doesn't work for you, then we have also a Saturday option um, and that's gonna be around 10 a.m. So those are your two options for your time. And I hope to see a lot of you in the workshop because it's gonna be great and I want you to be there. So you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys soon.